Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, here is Van Hamsen and uh, today we are diving deep into intriguing problem that's uh, going to test our understanding of bitwise operation and guess what? We will solve it uh, using Python. So if you are interested in seeing uh, the solution in other languages, uh, check the description below and I update the solution in multiple languages like uh, Rust, Go, uh, C++ and much more. All right, so let's dive in. The problem we are tackling today is called find the difference. And here is the uh, premise. We are given two string S and uh, T. And the string T is created by randomly shifting string S and then adding one letter at a random position. And our task is to identify and return this additional letter. So for instance, if S is uh, A, B, C, D, and T is uh, A, B, C, D, E, the added letter is uh, E, and uh, quite simple, uh, right? But the trick lies uh, in how efficiently we can solve it. Uh, so let's start by uh, writing uh, our code. So we uh, have uh, our class name solution with a method find the difference. This method takes in two string S and T and it return a string. So now uh, one approach uh, we could uh, consider is using uh, unique properties of XOR operation. And remember XOR uh, between the same number result in zero. So if we XOR all the character of both strings, the same character uh, would uh, cancel out leaving us with the ASCII value of the added character. So as you can see uh, in example uh, ABCD and we ha are, uh, have here ABCD E and we need to output uh, E so uh, really straightforward. So how to uh, implement it. So result will be zero and for character in S plus T result XOR Ort of character and return a character result. So look uh, quite simple. Let's run it to verify uh, it's working. So yeah, uh, all working and we begin by uh, initializing a variable called result to zero. And this uh, will hold the result of our XOR operation. And uh, then for each character in the corresponding string uh, S plus t, uh, we loop uh, through, and for each character, we XOR its uh, ASCII value with uh, our result. And by the end of the loop, result will hold the ASCII value of the added uh, character. And finally, we convert uh, this ASCII value back to its uh, corresponding character using the uh, char function and uh, return. So, uh, that's our implementation. So let's submit it for unsynthesized cases to double verify uh, it's working as well. So yeah, all good. And as you can see, our implementation uh, beat 78% uh, with respect to runtime and also uh, 76 with respect uh, to memory. So uh, all good. And as you can see, uh, our solution worked perfectly. And the beauty of this approach uh, lies in uh, efficiency. So the time complexity is on, so linear, where n is the length of the string, uh, t, and the space complexity is o n, so constant. And yeah, this problem is uh, uh, really important for understanding fundamental you know, uh, operation and their properties, bitwise operation, especially XOR, uh, can simplify many complex uh, problems. So I hope you enjoy today session and if you did please hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content uh, like this and also tutorial challenges much more and machine learning and tech and if you have any question or if there is a specific topic you would like us to cover in the future drop a comment below and remember the solution in other languages uh, are in the description and happy coding stay motivated and keep practicing